In order to understand Ada Lovelace, we need to know her background. Ada Lovelace was born into the most famous family in Europe. Ada was born to Lord Byron and Anne Isabella Byron. Lord Byron was a famous English poet and considered by many historians to be the first celebrity. The Byron family was rumored to be plagued by mental illness, especially with incidents like when his uncle shot a carriage driver just to shock Lord Byron's aunt. Lord Byron died in 1824, fighting against the Ottoman Empire for Greek independence. And Isabella Byron was a highly religious and well-educated woman of nobility. She disliked Lord Byron's wild attitude and antics so much that it consumed her life and was the main factor in how she raised Ada. She circulated rumors of Lord Byron having an incestuous relationship with his half-sister to secure a legal separation from him. And Byron died in 1860 of breast cancer. Ada's childhood laid the foundation for the rest of her short life. Even by today's standards, she was educated to a high degree. Born on December 10, 1815, Ada Lovelace never got to know her father, Lord Byron. By the time Ada was one month old, Anne Byron had secured a legal separation. Lord Byron never exercised his rights of visitation or custody, instead choosing to live in mainland Europe until his death. In an effort to restrain what she called the family's madness, Anne Byron started Ada's education at the age of four. Anne Byron instructed Ada's tutors and governesses to train her rigorously in mathematics and science. Even though Anne Byron would spend months at a time away on health cures, she made sure that Ada's tutors would not let her learn anything artistic to include poetry or painting. In an effort to stretch her own creativity, Ada attempted to design and build a flying machine at the age of 12. Her notes from this time show a beginning understanding of how bird's wings generate lift. The flying machine was abandoned once her mother came home from another health cure. When Ada was 14 years old, she was paralyzed for a year by the measles. Even during this time, she continued her education in mathematics and started to explore mechanical engineering. Also around this time, she started with an interest in helping farmers and industry workers adapt to the industrial revolution that was underway. Ada's most influential work was with Charles Babbage, the inventor of the difference engine, a mechanical calculator. Ada met Babbage in 1833 through a mutual friend. Charles Babbage immediately recognized that Ada's math skills, high status, and fame would be a great help in securing government funding for his projects, which weren't always seen as having a value. Babbage quickly invited Ada to see a prototype of his difference engine. Ada was immediately fascinated by the idea of a machine that would quickly calculate formulas without errors. Becoming good friends, Charles Babbage called Ada the Enchantress of Numbers. From 1842 to 1843, Ada translated an Italian engineer's article on Babbage's newest design, the analytical engine. Along with the translation, Ada created her own notes on how the new engine would work and what it could do. Ada's notes were more than 20 pages longer than the translated article. The revolutionary leap in thought that Ada made during her analysis of Babbage's newest design would set the course for the computer revolution of the 1950s. Ada Lovelace's notes included a guide for how one would feed a set of step-by-step -step instructions to the analytical engine so it could solve any problem fed to it. Ada's concept went beyond just using the machine to solve math problems. Ada envisioned using the machine to create new forms of music or art, with the music or art being stored in the machine's instruction sets. These fantastic ideas are still how computer programmers plan out and program the applications people around the world use today. She didn't just give the world an idea, she gave an example. The final set of notes include what is believed to be the world's first computer program. Ada showed how the analytical engine could calculate Bernoulli numbers, a math problem tackled by many greats like Pythagoras and Archimedes. Unfortunately, at the age of 36, Ada Lovelace died from uterine cancer. She left behind three children named Byron, Anne Isabella, and Ralph. Two months before her passing, her husband William King left her bedside, the cause of which was never recorded. According to her wishes, she was buried next to her father, Lord Byron. Some have remarked that if Ada Lovelace had lived longer, the computer age could have started in 1850, not 1950. Even with her short life and limited time to contribute, she has been remembered in many ways. The U.S. Department of Defense named their common programming language Ada, and the DOD reference manual is Military Standard 1815, after the year of her birth. There is an Ada Lovelace Day every year, 
with the goal of raising the profile of women in science, engineering, and mathematics. This year, Ada Day is on October 14th. The British Computing Society awards a medal in Ada Lovelace's name. The Ada Medal is awarded for outstanding contributions to the understanding or advancement of computing.